What do you want? I am a, a peaceful creature, a friendly alien life form. The Urquan called us talking pets. Until recently, I was employed on a, a dreadnought starship as a translator. Then, after the ship suffered severe damage from combat, we crashed at Alpha Pavonis. Miraculously, I survived. Who was rescued by an Arilu Lalile exploration vessel? The Arilu, they couldn't heal my most severe injury, so they brought me to the Unga who possessed superior bioengineering skills. Good idea! May I just say I'm buying you 100%. But unfortunately, the Unga are all too busy to come to the Hyperwave Caster right now, so uh, come back later, or much later. Yeah, I will explain nothing, monkey boy. Your stupid curiosity has sealed your doom. You could have left well enough alone. You could have departed this planet alive, but no! I am afraid you have stuck your stiff, protruder and sensing organ into one too many dark holes, Captain. And now you shall pay the price. Go get yourself killed. I, uh, I cannot compel you. Your mind is closed to me. How can this be? I am forced to resort to more primitive measures. Oongar Commander, summon your ten combat ships and attack this intruder instantly. Uh, hi there, friendly starship captain. You'll never believe this, but somehow, the injuries I suffered when the Urquan crashed triggered some kind of a personality transformation. I became evil and spiteful, cruel and nasty, whimsically unpleasant. You may have also noticed I gave some kind of temporary psychic powers. Well, I just want to let you know I'm cured! Captain, I don't know exactly how, but when you were fighting those Umga ships, a chunk of the ceiling fell down on my head and gave me quite a whack. Ouch, ouch, it still hurts. When I awoke, the universe had ceased to be the dark and hostile place I had previously thought it to be. Instead, I was overwhelmed, yes, even awed, by the beauty and perfection of it all. I also discovered that I had completely lost those wicked mental powers and can now look forward to a new life filled with happiness, butterflies, and goodwill for all. Your job is done, Captain. You have saved me. Now you can safely remove your safety protection device and leave. Thank you, thank you, thank you, hey. Why are you looking at me like that, Captain? Don't you believe me? You question my word? Okay, okay, so I was lying. Big deal. So what? Boy, are you a pain. You know that. What do you want from me? My life? Oh, you do? Hmm. <clears throat> well, as an alternative, let me make this little suggestion. If you don't kill me, I'll help you do whatever you wish. <laughs> Is it a deal, Captain? Hmm? Hmm? Uh, I get the basic idea. You want to overthrow the Urquan. Bravo! Good idea! Way to go! <laughs> I too wish to see the Urquan beaten, humiliated, destroyed, and I alone possess the unique ability that will help you achieve your goal. I can use my psychic powers to temporarily distract the Urquan, confuse him for a few seconds. Presumably, you will use this moment to strike a lethal blow against the Urquan. Such a plan cannot fail, Captain. We must see to that. I will gladly tell you my story, Captain. Gladly. I was indeed a talking pet aboard an Urquan dreadnought. Those years were like a forgotten dream to me. Cause I wasn't sentient, I was a dumb beast, an unthinking slave to the heinous Urquan. Then, there was a great battle. The ship was hit, severely damaged. Slaves running down the corridors, commands, counter commands, then there was a scream atmosphere outside the hull. There was a big explosion of light thunder, we hit the surface of a planet, I'm pretty sure. The next thing I can remember was the face of the creature you called the Arilu. I was in great pain. But the creature was kind. It did what it could for me by applying its own medicines to my alien form. I was transported off-planet. I remember an all-pervading green light. Then, we were at the home world of the Arlen. Again, Captain, forgive me if I'm not more clear, but I wasn't intelligent yet. Give me a chance. I presume my injuries were too severe for the Arlen to repair. 
But perhaps I reacted badly to their medicine or something, because the next thing I remember was being moved back into a ship. Things grow dim. My next memory is being on board an Umgah starship. Wet flesh throbbing all around me, Umgah laughing as they worked on my body. It was kind of unnerving. Suddenly, like the explosion of a bomb, thought, I mean, real thought, flooded my brain. I don't know how or why, but the Umgah had discovered that my brain could be easily changed, improved, to give me true intelligence. What they didn't realize is it also brought back a flood of memories. Memories of my species' ancient past, from before the time the Urquan castrated our thinking minds and transformed my people into crude beasts. I'm the only intelligent Denari left in this galaxy, Captain. Now you understand my lust for vengeance. No tricks, Captain. <laughs> no tricks. I fear you cruelly misjudge me. I'm on your side now. Together, we will make a great team, Captain. This day, this moment, shall go down forever in the history of our galaxy. I am coming aboard your ship now. I will make a nest in the pressurized section of your ship's hold. When you wish to talk with me, I will be there.